12 Coral Island Beginner Tips and Tricks. Number 1. Complete the very first offering immediately to unlock fast travel. Since the required materials is very easy to obtain, you can complete this in 1 to 3 days of gameplay. Number 2. Once you have the money, quickly upgrade your bag so that you can store more items from foraging, bug catching, fishing, and mining, thus helping you gather more money faster. Tips number 3. When you unlock diving, try to go as deep as you can to meet with the giant turtle that I would like to call Master Ugwe. To see what farm produce he wants, this will give you time to grow that particular crop or produce so that you can go deeper and get better resources such as the silver kelp to craft tools and objects. Note that the things they request change each season and that you will encounter more of him the deeper you go. Tips number 4. When catching a bug, you can hold the left click button to start sneaking. This will decrease the rate of the bug's alertness when being approached. And instead of approaching it from behind or the side, while the bug is moving in a direction, try to move around and block its pathway from the front before meeting it in the middle by sneaking. If you accidentally increase their alertness gauge too much, distance yourself from it until the alertness disappears before approaching it again. Tips number 5. Please note that different fishes and bugs appear depending on the weather, time, and season. For example, bugs like crickets and fireflies only comes out at night and snails appears during rainy days. Tips number 6. There are two best ways to make money while waiting for your crops to grow. The first one is to dig for bugs using your hoe in ground area around town. This will easily fetch you 1000 or more in a day depending on your luck and how early you started. The second method can only be done during summer. You will want to go to Zara's boat on the right side of the map and fish in the pier during days with no rain and before 4 p.m. You will be able to catch tons of sharks there which can be sold for 845 coins each. But catching sharks can be difficult. I suggest you save up enough money to buy the improved fishing pole in the beach shack before you do this. Once you get the hang of it, you can catch up to 14 sharks at least. I did this and was able to get up to 12,000 coins in a day just by spamming some shark. Let's move on to tips number 7. When starting in spring, make sure you plant all the seeds available so that you can complete the spring offering in the temple. After unlocking the first two offerings, which is the initial offering I told you in the beginning and this spring offering, you will be able to unlock the hot springs, which is a great way for you to regain your energy if you ran out of food. Tip number 8. Remember that you can control how fast the time goes in this game in the settings. When you are doing something time-consuming like mining in the cavern or watering your crops, you can slow it down to 50%, but if you are waiting for a shop to open, you can switch it back to 100%. Tips number 9. By pressing the spacebar, you can do a quick dash and it does not consume any energy. This will be the fastest way you can travel on food. You can also use the dash function to destroy crates and barrel in the cavern. I found this to be more satisfying than using a sword and it does feel like it covers more ground so I can destroy more crates in one dash. Tip number 10. In addition to dashing, you can also sprint in the game, but to make your life much easier, you can switch the sprinting command from hold to toggle in the setting menu, so that instead of having to hold the shift button to run, you can just press it once and you will always automatically sprint when you are moving. Tip number 11. While your most profitable crop is growing, time and plant other crops that matures faster for a big harvest haul. For example, cauliflower will take 8 days to grow. The day after planting them, you can plant carrots that takes only 7 days to grow and wait another 2 days to plant potatoes that takes 5 days to grow and plant turnips the next day that takes 4 days to grow. This will allow you to get a plentiful harvest once your cauliflower matures. And this last tip is mostly for those of you who has an OCD-like tendencies that hates having patchy farm plots with no plants in them. Do not level up the farming skill that increases the chance of crops growing faster. In theory, it's a good skill, but it wreaks havoc to the timing and planning you have for your crops. 
it causes some of your plants to mature faster, thus leaving an uneven patchy area in your farm plot since you have to harvest them, making them less satisfying to see. But for those of you who doesn't mind this, might as well get it. This is only just for me and maybe some other people that I know out there has these OCD-like tendencies. So that is it for today's tips and tricks videos. I hope you find it insightful and helpful. If you do, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any future content from me. See you and goodbye!